welcome to Mexico City. I just arrived maybe an hour ago, so I was freshening up, relaxing, ate some room service, uh, but now I'm getting ready because we're gonna go out to a rooftop, me and some of my friends who live here. So I'm going to get dressed, show you the outfit, and then take you with me to this gorgeous rooftop. But first, enjoy the view. I'm staying here at the Intercontinental and it's a really great hotel. I always stay at the Intercontinental. I'm a big IHG girl. The room I have now is messy, but very nice. I love the view. I don't really do much with my makeup, a bit boring, but I like to just get my mascara looking nice, my eyebrows. I'm a bit red right now, I'm not sure why. Maybe just the temperature is getting to me, um, but I'm gonna get dressed. So, see you soon. All right, we are back. I'm pretty much ready. Outfit is pretty casual. It's this really gorgeous um, bodysuit type of faux button up from Norma Kamali. I think it's really fun because it has this really deep V and some jeans. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna wear some sambas to go with this outfit because I really can't be bothered to wear some heels, though it would look cute. And then, very nice clearly going to be my Hermes pochette. Really excited to wear this. It's just so spacious. It's so spacious. I'm gonna pop my camera in there, my phone, extra battery, so many things. I need to really do a what fits in my pochette type of video. And then I need to wear some perfume. Brought a load of samples with me because I like to travel with perfume samples rather than the full size because I have made the terrible mistake of forgetting a perfume and then you're just absolutely effed. Um, yeah, it's in here. I know it's in here. It is called Tabac Rose and it's by BDK. I think it's this one because there's Nearly nothing left, yes. See, nearly nothing left. It's a tobacco rose, it's in the name. It just, it smells so sultry in the evenings. It's not like super long lasting and it doesn't have the strongest kind of in your face projection the way that like an MFK perfume will have. If I put on Baccarat, back in my Baccarat days, so I don't wear Baccarat anymore, I'd spray it once and it would be on my clothes for at least three to four days, which is really nice. You get a lot out of every spray, but also a little bit annoying that you just always smell like Baccarat. Um, let me actually move the camera so you can get the full outfit. That beautiful beauty mirror. Still have this weird redness on my face, but it's a cool outfit. It'll be fun. And yeah, next time you, you hear from me, it'll be from the rooftop. Bye. Hello and welcome to day two here in Mexico City. Uh, today I'm going to go to the Frida Kahlo Museum and then later in the day I have a reservation at Pujol which is an absolutely amazing um, Mexican restaurant with a tasting menu. So I have booked in for the tasting menu. It's called the Omakase. So I will let you know how that goes, how everything tastes and then obviously I'll try to take as much as I can of the museum. I'm already a bit dressed, not completely. I was going to go for a little walk in the neighborhood because my reservation is 11:45 for the museum and it's 10. And I'm staying here in Polanco which is quite a well-known neighborhood here in Mexico City. It's really 
yeah, really, I would say like trendy, I guess, is my impression of Polanco. So I was thinking I might go walk around. Um, today it's about 70 degrees is going to be the high. Uh, so this uh, sweater with me, I wish I had a cardigan with me. That's a, something I definitely recommend bringing here to Mexico City. So I have this sweater with me just to keep me a bit warm it's still quite sunny and honestly living in ireland i'm not quite used to the heat and this will kind of be the look so i've got on these aritzia pants a sling belt to kind of hold them up because these pants are way too big on me i need to take them to the tailor and until that happens so that they don't drag all over the ground i've got this belt to try to help hold them up Aritzia tank, nothing special, just a regular tank. And then I've got this cashmere sweater. This one is from Alex Mill. Really great brand for sweaters if you're looking for some new sweaters. And then yeah, I have my little Kelly pochette. I think I'll just wear, like I said, I'm just gonna wear some sneakers with it and I've got my usual jewelry on and for sunglasses, because it is super, super sunny today. I've got these cute little Chanel sunglasses, they're really sweet. They look quite nice, don't they? So I think that will be the look for today. But yeah, I'll take you around with me. I'm gonna go grab some coffee now. Welcome back. I just got back from going to the Frida Kahlo Museum. It was really, really interesting to see her environment and see what actually influenced her work. It was a really cool experience. It went by a bit quicker than I anticipated it would be, but it gives me the golden opportunity I have right now to just relax, catch up on a bit of TV before my reservation at Bujol. Um, or Puyol. I need to ask what the correct pronunciation is. Um, I was also, I realized I was underselling how big of a deal it is that I'm going to that restaurant while I was on the way back from the Frida Kahlo Museum to the hotel. In the car, I was actually watching a few videos, um, like shorts, people's experiences. I was researching the restaurant more. And I realized it's one of the top five best restaurants in the world. And the um, chef even designs the menus for business class, like meals for Aeromexico, which is really cool. And he's been on chef's table and all these things. I got a reservation because my friend recommended it. And I didn't doubt it or do any research or anything like that. I was like, okay, if you're telling me to go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make a reservation. I had no idea that it was kind of like such a big deal to even be able to have a reservation, which probably makes sense why my reservation, like the only one I could get was at four o'clock. Um, but I skipped lunch, I haven't eaten anything, so I'm gonna definitely power through um, the tasting menu. I'm really excited about that. But the big thing that I was looking forward to with the extra time was just having a cup of tea. I actually bring my own tea from Ireland, like nothing crazy, it's just, Earl Grey twinnings from the Tesco, like nothing crazy. But for some reason, 
the like twinnings you get outside of the UK and Ireland is far weaker. It tastes a bit different in my opinion, and maybe it's just a placebo effect that's in my head, but I feel like it tastes different. So I bring my own tea everywhere I go. It doesn't matter if it's like a one night trip or it's something like this, or it's 10 days, like I will have my own tea bags. There's a lot of things that I'll forget to pack. I forgot to pack a phone charger, for example, that was really smart. But I did remember to pack tea bags. Really, really, really important to pack your own tea. Once you become a tea addict, that is. I'd recommend not going down that road. I also went to this really cool cafe here in Palang Collection. Let me find what the name was. The interior was really gorgeous and I took some really quick videos there. I was only there for like 10 minutes honestly. It was just to get a bit of fresh air and walk. It's called Nido Cafe Polanco. I'll add some more information about it but the food there looked really nice. I just wasn't um, you know, wasn't hungry or anything like that, but the coffee is really good. The service is really nice. The vibe is, it's really relaxing. So if you are in town and you're wanting to go to a really cool cafe, definitely would recommend Nido. Before I head off to Pujol, obviously I need to get dressed. I've got my outfit figured out though, so you'll see it very soon. And I just want to do a bit of online, not shopping, but like online window shopping. I just want to check a few things out. And then, yeah, I think I'll be in the right headspace to enjoy a really, 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 really yummy meal. Okay, it's time to go out to dinner. I'm wearing this gorgeous Skims corset top. I actually really enjoy Skims. I highly, highly, highly rate the corset top. It's fantastic. Let me look at it. Snatched. It looks really good. And then for pants, I've got on the Aritzia Agency pants. So really nice brown and black kind of look. And I've got my hair back because it's still a mess. I'm really looking forward to that appointment tomorrow. Good morning. Um, it is day three here in Mexico and I am waking up with a bit of a hangover. I did the um, drink pairing when I was at Pujol. So it was like eight courses and then eight drinks or something like that. It was a ridiculous number, but it was like a mixed um, pairing. So it wasn't just um, wine. It was like sake and beer and tequila and wine it was just a mess and and it won it beat me it beat me to the point that i am waking up here with some electrolyte that my friends were kind enough to get me breakfast of champions and honestly some really really good room service you've got to see this like look amazing i asked for some beef on top like Plantains, avocado, some cheese, eggs, beef. I mean, come on now. That is a really good breakfast. But um, today is really important, or today is really exciting because we have two big things. One, I'm finally going to get my hair done. So exciting. 
And then two, it is the Day of the Dead Parade, so I'm gonna meet up with my friends, um, get a little bit painted up as well, and yeah, it's gonna be super fun. I'm really glad that I'm feeling a lot better, because last night I was, I was, I was very close to the line, very close to the line, but I'm feeling really good right now. Power through my breakfast, go to my hair appointment, and then have a really good day. That's my plan, that's my hope for myself, and I hope you guys have a really good day too. Welcome back. I'm back from getting my hair done. Doesn't it look just lovely? Basically just got my layers shortened. So I have these like face trimming ones that were down here. So those are back to their original position. And then got split ends and stuff cut off there. So feel very fresh. I'm clearly in a much better mood than I was this morning. I'm still going to be checking electrolytes because you never know. And heading off very soon to the Day of the Dead Parade. That's kind of one of the really cool things that's happening here while I'm here. So me and my friends are going to go to the parade. I'm just wearing something super casual because we're going to be walking and standing around quite a lot. Took out some cash so I can be um, buying some things from street vendors and um, I'm just gonna wear like a little jacket, like a little, I have it right here actually, I'm trying to explain it, this cute little Aritzia cozy fleece. It's surprisingly chilly in Mexico City, I mean I guess maybe not so surprising, it's November, but it's like if you're not directly in the sun it can definitely get a bit nippy. Um, I didn't get a chance to actually talk about Pujol other than the fact that I got absolutely hammered at Pujol. Um, food was really good. I think if you want to have like a like fine dining experience towards Mexican food, you should go. Service is fantastic. The pairings are really cool. It's very thoughtful, obviously. Um, but is it like a must do? I would say no. Like I think even if you've gone once, you probably don't need to go again. I've eaten at a lot of um, similar types of restaurants. And um, Pujol was good. It was just not like I wouldn't put it at my top of my list, but it was really good. So I don't know. I just so much fantastic food to experience in Mexico City. Doesn't have to be a Pujol. But it was cool. One thing I did really like, and this is going back to what I said about the service was really good there. They have this list that they gave everyone of places they recommend. So it's other restaurants they recommend as well as like, oh, this one was like clubs and dancing. Sorry. The restaurants are on this side. It's restaurants, coffee shops, all these sorts of places, even art galleries, like it's really cool. And I, I do, like I said, the service is really great there. It's really like thoughtful, the way they put things together for the guests. Highlight of my experience, and you can kind of see it on the sheet of papers, is a phone number there. Um, the waiter who was serving me at the restaurant was from Serbia, so it was really cool. We had like a really interesting conversation about how long he's been living in Mexico and how different it is from where we're from because I'm my parents are from Bosnia he's from Serbia so we were able to speak in our language together which was really cool I've never had an experience at a fine dining restaurant where someone's been able to speak to me in our language it was it was yeah it was really like I don't know how to explain it, it was really touching there's something really sweet and special about it compared to just speaking English like I always do so it was really, really memorable. We like, we spoke a lot, which I was really um, thankful that there were enough opportunities in between the servings of the courses that we could have a little bit of chit chat. Um, and so he gave me his phone number so we could stay in touch and I also have his Instagram. So it's, it's cool, it's cool to like meet some of your own sort of people in such what feels like to me such a random place. Like I know Mexico City is huge what 20 million people in Mexico City so I'm sure there is there has to be some of us here right but it was just interesting of all the places of all the times it was like at that restaurant at that moment so it was really really cool I really enjoyed it it was really special for me it made the dinner even better but what I would say is I I saw the state of me earlier in this video I would not recommend the drink pairing 
it was just a lot because it's a mixed alcohol pairing so it's like sake and beer and wine and just like a lot for the body unless you are you've got like the strongest liver ever and you can get through it really quickly it was a it was a very interesting evening afterwards i don't blame the restaurant at all it was really thoughtful pairings and they were really cool and i don't regret it but i'm just saying keep in mind that yeah you're not really eating that much food at the end of the day it was just yeah it was a lot it was crazy so i'm super glad that my friends got me electrolyte drink and stuff like that so i'm feeling so much more refreshed and that i have the energy to still make it to the parade because i'd hate to miss the parade i would give pujol a seven out of ten I think if you want to experience Mexican cuisine in sort of a controlled atmosphere where a lot of it still feels very predictable and safe in terms of like the overall dining experience and obviously a lot of the waiters speak many languages so it's easy to kind of have like a very fluid conversation about the food and ask all the questions you'd like to ask. That would be a really good way to do it but I do think you could have just as good if not better food elsewhere in Mexico City, especially when you consider the price point. So that's my take on Pujol. I still enjoyed it though. This is the real deal, not Pujol. This is the real deal, exactly. This is the real deal. <laughs>